Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're first time here, my name is Ivan and you're on the channel Retail Investing and Trading where, where I'm covering uh, stuff about stocks, about investing, about trading. I have a automated uh, forex trading algorithms, I'm manually trading options and about money and business in general. In today's video, we will be covering uh, Persian Square Attention Holding latest news from the industry. Since the IPO of the Pershing Square Attention Holding, Bill Ackman's pack, there's been a lot of news, a lot of hype, and in this short video, I want to cover some of those latest news, and I want to share with you my outlook for the stock moving forward. So stay tuned because I'm coming right back. All right, and welcome back to the video. As you probably know or don't know, if you're new to the channel, I already invested over ten thousand dollars in Pershing Square Tent Holdings Bill Ackman's SPAC, and you can check that video out if you're interested. I made a public investment in that SPAC. I, I think I, it's gonna be linked somewhere in the left or right of the corner. I'm not sure how YouTube mixes this. When you're watching the video, basically, basically should be in your right corner, right? So probably my left, I don't know, whatever. So besides that initial $10,000 investment, I also placed another pending order for $20,000, roughly around $20,000 that I think uh, Pershing Square Attention holding, Holdings in the long run will go up. And I didn't record that video of $20,000 more, but I placed a pending order at $27,000. I think 27 or 28 dollars and you can see that on the screen while I'm sharing you the screenshot of that pending order. Now uh, as I'm already uh, let's say highly invested in this stock uh, last week's news kind of you know people are start starting uh, past the high people are starting to uh, think what's gonna happen if Bill Ackman doesn't uh, delivers if the stock and the privately held company that, that its, its PAC is going to merge with uh, doesn't uh, you know matches the hype that's been built up about this entire SPAC because it's one of the biggest not not one of the biggest the biggest PAC in the history of these PACs so I want to go over to my trading that is basically and I want to go over uh, a few of those news with you and share you my opinion about those news so without further ado let's go back to the uh, my computer my PC and I'll share some of uh, my outlook my opinion on the news that being delivered to us via online media so let's go see you there all right, all right and welcome back to my trade station here I opened a pushing straight tantum holdings stock and on, on a on a easy to use platform trading view okay i really like this platform and it's very very easy to use i marked a few of the lines here my my first purchase of ten thousand dollars was at the price of 26.92 dollars so this is my line i'm actually up what is it 20 if you divide 29 by 72 20 29.72 by 26.92 i'm actually up what maybe 10 percent roughly so i already made 10 percent return by investing in the stock here so uh let's analyze a stock since it's uh, since it opens and it, it went public in uh i i believe it was september 2020 and basically be, uh, this pack is a bit different because Bill Ackman has made the IPL with this pack at a price of the stock at around $20, while the rest of these packs usually are at $10. And when you open up, the min 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 minimum price of this pack is 10, but in this one is 20. So basically, the risk on this stock from my investment is. 30% because since the opening price of the of this pack the price rose for 30% from $20 if you add 30% on top of it you get 26 roughly so my initial $10,000 investment if it drops down to 20 they usually don't go below the price of the their initial po uh, po public offering of this pack they usually do not drop below it so let's see let's just assume that this is my maximum risk 30 percent down and since then i'm already up but but since this pack uh, went public it it was going you know a bit of a sideways move here and then it starts to push up you know uh, kind of may have a retracement here and then a straight push 
up. Now, the last Friday or so, the 7th of January, I believe that was a Friday. Let's check out. It was uh, Thursday and Friday. This pack had a, a very interesting up move and then a huge decline here. As you can see, the sellers kicked in. So what this could be, maybe somebody from the inside. I'm not saying that it's inside trading, but maybe somebody heard the news of a probable merger and liked a company and then some kind of a big fish came in and purchased a lot of stock and that's why the uh, the person where this stock was up so much uh, but who knows you know and uh, since that time I, I sell I sold a bit more of my Tesla stock as you can see in the video here I'm gonna link it up in your right corner again and I run 20 something thousand dollars of a stock of Tesla stock that I sold, and I want to reinvest it in this person's credit tantum holdings. Now, I placed a pending order right around here, uh, 20, 28 dollars. Okay, so I placed that order, and on the Friday of 15th of January, a uh, uh, stock made a pullback at 28.20. So I did not get a fill for my 20,000 dollars. So that kind of sucks because I would be up, you know, additional 5% on that. But because, you know, 28, 29, almost 30 is, I, I don't know, maybe 5, 6%, which would be a nice return for a day of trading. But I do hope that eventually before the merger is announced, the price will go down so I can, I can get a fill of this price at $28. And eventually when the merger, um, when they announce the merger, uh, that a lot of people will love the company that they announce that they are going to merge with and that it's going to pop up significantly. I don't know how much and I truly believe this is a long term game for for Bill Ackman, not a short pop. I'm not I'm not sure that he's looking like, you know, I mean, he's investing over seven billion dollars. Actually, this pack is four billion dollars. And then he he committed that his guys, his um, Pershing Square uh, Holdings Company, the hedge fund that he's managing will put another so three billion on dollars. On an investor's place, in investor place if, here if it's on a website, so they say the Pershing you know, Square the biggest is starting to get history. Fraud. And is it too late to get ahead of the crowd of, of a caliber like because Bill Ackman is after reading for this a rich uh, cash new flow business, I actually kind of can agree with the some of that. Term. So I'm pretty sure that if it pops, he's not going to sell it. He's going to keep it for the long run. And I do hope that it's going to be a good company and that we will see significant returns down the road, but not down the road in like in a short term, like few months. I'm actually planning to hold this for a long run. Okay, so this is like a short technical analysis and me sharing my opinion with you guys. But now I want to hop on and I open like actually three news here for you. And I'm going to go over these news for you and share you my opinion of those news with you. So if you read this stuff, you're going to find out that uh, here they cover the things that um, the Pershing Square is a bit different than it's the other SPACs, just like I share with you. Other SPACs are, you know, pre-deal SPACs, so hover near $10. And uh, a lot of people do not invest a lot of this, a lot of money in the stock, in the SPAC stock, uh, before they announce the merger, because they do not know in what kind of a business the SPAC is going to merge with. And with this stock, it's a bit different because uh, Pershing Square Tantum Holdings, actually the whole bet, you know, the whole investment prior to the merger is betting on a guy and not on a business. And that's why the Pershing Square, you know, rose over 50% since initial public offering on the SPAC stock at almost around $30. So actually, but you got to realize it's, you're betting, a, it's all about one man. And a lot of uh, rich people in the United States of America and around the world are betting on this guy because they think he can deliver. And that's why this pack is so hot and that's why the shares are rising right now. Actually, in this article, they're covering, you know, January 8th that Pershing Square jumped over 7.24% uh, and settled at 2932 And they're actually saying that this kind of similar price action on the stock actually happened on the December of uh, 23rd of the December 2020. 
And during that trading session, Pershing Square attempting holding stock increased by as much as 4.7%. And a lot of people then thought that, I know, okay, maybe now they're going to announce the merger. And maybe now, now the, you know, the rumors started going that they know who are going to merge with, but nothing happened. It's all just hype and speculation so that's why you gotta be careful by uh, when are you gonna make this by making the decision are you gonna invest in this or not and you gotta be you know you gotta understand in what are you investing because currently there is no company to invest you're basically betting on a guy called Bill Ackman and listen Bill Ackman was here prior to when when SPACs were not as hot as they are today you know, back in 2007, back to 2008, Bill Ackman since 2008 was doing SPACs all the way to 2020, 2020, 2020, 2021st. But right now in today's market, SPACs are becoming really hot. And Bill Ackman has a rich history because he brought Burger King public with his pack. If you check out the article behind me, Ackman is no stranger to making deals. I mean, in 2011, he, he launched a blackjack company, which is basically another term for his pack company, with, at the name of Justice Holdings, and then they acquired the Burger King and brought Burger King public, okay? And the return was also healthy as well. But uh, besides this, the bottom line for this news is buying Pershing Square Tenting Holdings, you're, you're betting on a guy. On a Bill Ackman, a guy who uh, that he's gonna deliver, he, that he's gonna find a privately held rich company with a great cash flow, a billionaire, you know, uh, uh, billionaire a company that has unicorn company, uh, actually, you know, bigger than unicorn because unicorn company is when you have billion dollar in uh, valuation, and when he wants to invest five, four to seven million dollars, usually SPAC acquire, SPACs acquire 20% of that future company. So actually the new company could be a few times bigger than the actual SPAC, around 35, 40, 50 billion dollar company. That's the range of a company that Bill Ackman is looking to acquire. So we gotta be aware of that and make your investment by doing your own you know uh, investigation and research and because this is not the investment advice now let's go back to the other article and let's check that out okay pressing square taunting stock could be setting SPAC investor up for disappointment so why is that that's a big question so why is that it can fail and can be a big disappointment to cover this we need to take uh, a different approach. So what is the history of Bill Ackman? He actually did, uh, in 2010 I believe, he did a SPAC Justice, Justice League something and brought Burger King public. Uh, that SPAC was like more as a regular SPAC, it was not priced at $20, it was priced at 10 and currently that stock is trading at, at the merged company at $63. So basically that's a healthy 600% return. Back then if you invested a 30 thousand uh, dollars like 10 years ago I think then right now you would be sitting on around uh, 200 around two hundred thousand dollars so that would be around hundred sixty hundred seventy thousand dollars of pure profit and if you divide that in, in for a decade decade because it was 10 years ago that's a healthy uh, 1500 bucks of uh, hands-free income per month uh, for a dec decade uh, term so I think that's a great investment, but that's back then. But he also had a failed uh, investment. I mean, failed bets as a hedge fund manager betting against the Herbalife. Okay, if you didn't watch, there is a video, uh, actually documentary, documentary movie, betting on a zero. When he got, it was very, very public, and he got into fight with the um, I Carl Icon. So I, I don't want to speak about that, but he has a good size and he also had a failed bet, failed uh, stock trades. Now, what are the potential companies for his news pack merger? It has to be a rich cash flow company. It has to be really, really big. As I said prior in a video, if he's gonna invest over $4 billion, top it up with three needed, that's $7 billion, and it, the, usually this pack acquires only 20% of a company. If you multiply that, the value of a company should be around $35, $40 billion. That's pretty huge. 
actually if you if we take a look at the you know top unicorn companies there is around 150 companies that meets his criteria uh, the rumors are that he's talking with Airbnb Stripe and the Bloomberg but I've heard and I watched a few videos where Airbnb is gonna go to via traditional route to the IPO Stripe is not there yet so what is left I don't know maybe Bloomberg maybe not the rumors were about Chipotle as well but who knows nobody knows he has the idea I bet but nobody else the public do not know so that's what's here could it be a disappointment yeah it could because the price is over as I said it returned 50% already just because of a hype and because that's a Bill Ackman so will it pop will it be a long-term buy long-term buy probably who knows but if he announces a company and the uh, hype that's been built up does not match that the company does not match that hype chances are people are gonna start selling this pack stock so we might encounter a downturn on that stock as well so be wise with that now let's check out the third article about is this a good hole in the long run and then let's wrap up the video but before we go to the third article if you like this video so far if you think this channel can bring you a lot of cool new stuff a lot of knowledge a lot a lot of insights and my opinions basically in the stock, mar stock market investing and trading and money and business in general please do click that like button click the subscribe button and smash the bell button because it actually do helps uh, uh, YouTube algorithm to rank this video higher so that many more people can see it thank you very much and now let's get back to the third article okay is pressing fair taunting holdings a smart long-term buy if you check out the la latest Yahoo Finance article on January the 5th of 2021 Clark Street value is bullish on pressing fair taunting holdings now I might I may share my opinion about it and why this can be uh, the reason why they're bullish so I actually think that they're bullish because the uh, the specification and let's say the configuration of a company that Bill is looking for is the value uh, value business so he's basically basically an activist investor but he's looking for value investing rich cash flow means that hey, ha they have a lot of money they have strong balance sheet balance sheets strong income sheets and he's looking to invest in a healthy company long term those type of companies can actually and being you you would have Bill Ackman on the board so he he could naturally have some kind of the influence on the management of that company somehow I don't know how much but they he could have so basically if he, you you have a guy of such a caliber on the board of a company that you're a CEO and you have a great business because that's why you merged with him as, at the first place because he wanted your business because you had you built up a great business prior of him investing in it so naturally in the long long run this could be a very very good play but that doesn't mean that you can expect that it will pop and you will five times your investment because this this stock is already pricey okay and with that having that in mind i want to wrap up this video be careful out there you know do your own research and by all means this video is not the investment in wise is otherwise this is just me sharing my opinions and the latest news on this pack uh, Bill Ackman's pack, Pressing Square Tantum Holdings. One more time, if you liked it, click like, subscribe, smash that bell button, and see you next time.